Hey guys, welcome back to another video on our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be installing this 21 inch front wheel on our 2014 Street Glide. Now guys, as you probably know, there's a plethora of wheels on the market these days and 21 inch up to ginormous sizes. And if you've watched any of our videos in the past, you know that we went with the 19 inch Willie Shiny Enforcer. We did the wheel exchange with Willie Shiny out in Cali and it was an awesome wheel. I absolutely love it. At the time, I really wanted to go 21. Now, Harley-Davidson doesn't generally make a wheel that I have ever liked, except for the Enforcer. It's just a good looking wheel. I just wanted it in chrome. But as of right now, guys, there's only one company that makes the uh, 21 inch. It's called the Reinforcer. And uh, I wasn't happy with the people that were doing the chroming. And that's my own personal opinion, guys. There's a lot of guys out there that loved them. Uh, but I just seen some stuff and just, a little sketchy so i didn't go with them so i just stuck to the 19 inch wheel that uh, willie offered and uh, it's been an amazing wheel absolutely love it tons of compliments on it uh but i did want to go with the 21 so i got online i started doing a little bit of research and i got up with one of my dealers rick francis and i'll put his link down in the description uh, if you want to contact him on facebook uh excellent awesome guy helped me out through the whole process hassle free uh, i got up with him told him exactly what i wanted um he hooked up the deal paid through PayPal, was done and over with, waited my time for my wheel, got it, and I'm absolutely happy with it, guys. As far as the company that I went with, I went with SMT Machining, and uh, absolutely love this wheel. They have a plethora of wheels on their websites and sizes that you can choose from, and also tires, obviously. And this is exactly how I got it in the mail, guys. Uh, mounted, internally balanced, everything is put together. All I have to do is just put it on the bike. And also, guys, I wanna talk about the rotors. Um, I've already bought the polished rotors uh, for the 14 Street Glide, and they were the stock uh, polished, the floating rotors, and uh, so I didn't really want to replace the rotors on it, but uh, SMT Machining does sell these adapters right here, but the chrome rotor adapters that are already installed on the wheel are going to allow me to run my stock uh, Harley-Davidson polished rotors. Now guys, we did go with the uh, Metzler Marathon Ultra. It's the ME888. Uh, like I said, this was also uh, put on, mounted, and internally balanced so there's no wheel weights on the outside. And uh, we got that from uh, SMT Machining as well. Like I said a while ago, this is exactly how it came. But right now, we're just going to get it installed and we'll bring the camera down. We'll have a look at it. All right, guys. Now, I got the wheel all the way installed. And as you can see, I got the fender off here. And I told you at the beginning of the video that I was going to have to get the fender risers for this size tire. And uh, they're on order, so they should be here in a couple of days and we'll do a video on that but uh as of right now with the stock fender on a 2014 and the metzler 120 70 21 uh tire is a little bit too tall to allow me to put the fender on and uh, i was about a quarter of an inch off on my bolt hole so definitely gonna have to have the fender risers if you go with that tire on a 21 inch wheel and like i said before the 2014 up the uh, nuts are welded to the back of the fender so you can't just bore that fender out and tilt your fender the 2013 down i think you could do that but the 14 up definitely not an option now the craftsmanship on this wheel is absolutely amazing guys i've had this wheel in the house for the last week uh, before i got out here to get it put on i've had a chance to really go over the wheel uh absolutely no imperfections in that wheel that thing is like a mirror everywhere i look even the chrome adapters that i ordered uh absolutely amazing now with the wheels guys you got a couple of different options from smt machining you can get that double cut gloss black powder coat you can get them just polished or you can get the triple plated chrome like what we got right here so that's pretty cool uh, all the different builds out there and they do offer the three different styles of any wheel that they make they start with a dot approved billet aluminum wheel blank guys it's american made so that's also a big plus right there and they also offer matching pulleys rotors and sprockets so that's a pretty big deal right there guys uh, like i said i went with the wheel adapters to run my polished uh, stock rotors that were on the 2014 street glide we already had these polished Polished and uh, new polished hardware to put on here. So we went with that and just went with the wheel adapters on their wheel. But they do offer those things matching each wheel. Now guys, like I said in the beginning of the video, they do cut these as you order them. They start with an American-made aluminum wheel blank. It's billet aluminum. It's the 6061 T6 billet aluminum, guys. And that's a great aluminum to use, guys, on wheels uh, for motorcycles because it's very corrosion resistant, guys. It's easy to take care of. Keep this thing waxed up and polished. Keep a good coat of protection on your chrome at all times, especially if you're living around the oceans or the salt, a lot of stuff like that. You're gonna wanna keep these things waxed up. Keep Keep that stuff from penetrating the chrome. And that's on any chrome wheel that you buy, guys. Just keep a good coat of protection on them and they'll last you a long time. 
Now after doing a little bit of research guys, I decided to go ahead and do a one inch progressive uh, lowering kit on here. So that'll be coming up here pretty soon. We'll be doing a video on that. I'm sure we're gonna drop in the uh, one inch progressive lowering kit in the front to bring this front end back down just a little bit. And uh, the fender risers and we'll get it all buttoned up and the front of this bike will be done and ready for the spring. Now, like I said in the beginning of the video guys, these are custom made every time you order one. These guys are out in Glendale, Arizona. They custom make these from a uh, stock wheel blank every time you order one. So you do have to allow four to six weeks for shipping on these. And once again, guys, that wheel was from s &T Machining. Uh, like I said, the link will be down below. And Rick Francis, I'll put his Facebook link down below. He was a dealer that I went through. Uh, like I said, uh, hassle-free, man. Picked out the wheel, got with him, paid for it. A few weeks later, I got the wheel. So I want to say a huge thank you to everybody out there who's jumped on the channel in the last couple of months, man. Me and my family appreciate the heck out of that. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so now. It'll keep you up to date on all the new videos that we have coming out and uh, all the videos that we have on our channel now. Check those out. We got over 100 videos. Every time we do an upgrade to the bike, we try to get it on video for you so you can see it. And then you can make an informed decision on whether or not you want to do that or uh, have that done to your bike. But hey, I'm going to get out of here, guys. And until the next video, as always, be safe and keep your knees in the breeze.